Good afternoon, dear colleagues. In advance, I apologize for my mistake when reading the text. The topic of my presentation is co uh, cosmic thinking as a factor of harmony of being. It presents mankind has reached a high level of scientific and technical development. Unfortunately, this condition does not ensure a harmonious life for society. We can see lots of problems of social, ecological and political character. The cause of this is seen in imperfection of spiritual and aesthetic aspect, aspect of man's consciousness. To improve the situation, it's important to reveal the root of the problem. To begin with, uh, let's recall that a great number of philosophers, such as Solovyov, Gurdjieff, Fyodorov, Florensky, draw out attention to the predominance of the so-called problem of abstract sources in the new European philosophy. Bulgakov refers to this tradition of thinking as logical monism. According to him, the core of the problem lies in the fact that in this philosophical system, one side or only one part of integral reality wants to be seen as a whole. They use any methods they can to achieve this goal. It results in errors of thinking that affect practical activities and behavior. To avoid this and for describing the integral reality, we need a holistic philosophical system adequately reflecting the structure of relations on the basis of being. A good example, according to Bulgakov, is sentence structure being in its essence the trinity of the subject, the predicate, or in other words, the statement about the subject, and the linking verb. Thus, according to Bulgakov, the structure of the sentence I am something, potentially everything, expresses both the ontological and epistemological aspects of the integral structural organization of the basis of being. In this structure, I ontologically uh, is the subject, or as Bulgakov puts it, spirit is a living sentence constantly realizing itself. On the other hand, the epistemological aspect expressing the way of integral judgment as the self-consciousness of I is also represented in the sentence pattern. As Bulgakov said, it is sentence that lies in the basis of the self-consciousness. It should be noted that the given system of relationship also contains an axiological aspect. It expresses the semantic value of the proposition from the angle of its validity of conformity with the supreme principle of absolute being. The living ethics states that love is the leading life-giving source. We can find the similar uh, quotations about love as the matter of God in the works by Flavinsky, Birdjaf and other authors. It means that man's judgments and activities take on a truly creative character if they are directed and common good, are filled with love to the world and its divine source. From this angle, the incomplete abstract way of thinking will always have a related, probabilistic character of judgment. Fraud will e egoistical and mercenary impact. From the methodological angle, the empirical and rational research instruments used in the tradition of abstract thinking are not sufficient for integral in understanding and veritable solving the problem of being, on all levels. Today it's important to methodologically improve man's way of thinking 
so that it will be able to reflect the real structure and laws of cosmic being. Let us note that the article shows the synthetic character of cosmic thinking inherent in the teaching of living ethics. Its methodological uh, distinction consists in the fact that alongside with the epistemological aspect it expresses both the ontological and the axiological aspect of reality. It means that in the structure of its integral dynam dynamics, uh, the algorithm of cosmic thinking reflects the inseparable unity of life, cognition and self-perfection. This future of cosmic thinking conforms uh, to the essential structure of the basis of being. According to the holistic approach, the essence of the basis of being is seen as the prehypostasis unity of life, mind and love of absolute I. Each hypostasis performs its own indispensable function in self-organization of integrity of the absolute in eternity and infinity. Thus, the hypostasis of life expresses by itself the principle of integral organization of being of the manifested absolute. The hypostasis of mind in the process of manifestation of the absolute is the following system of the cycle of spiral movement understood as I, not I, not not I. In fact, this double negation is the expression of the cycle of self-consciousness development of the manifested potential of absolute I. From the angle of its structural organization, it's a system with a feedback giving in opportunity to estimate and control one's own activities and development as well as move toward cosmic evolution or involution. The hypostasis of love of the absolute I, being the energy nature of the divine absolute, is called upon to give birth and harmonize all around. Love is uh, the condition of self-organization of the Absolute in eternity and infinity, in the cycle of manifestation of potentialities of the Absolute. Love is the criterion of the true estimation of man's conscious activities and the condition of its evolutional development. This conscious conclusion is drawn from the principle of the functioning of the system with a positive feedback. In this context, the principle of absolute I symbolizes the synthetical center of manifestation of the universal energy of love, life and mind of the absolute. In the teaching of living ethics, this center is called heart. In fact, it's not only the uh, center of manifested integrity or the form of life, but also the center of its connection with the outside world and the basis of being the means of heart. From the above uh, said, it's clearly seen that the energy of love is connected with the spiritual sphere of the heart's activity. That is why cosmic thinking can manifest itself increasingly alongside with man's spiritual and aesthetic development. This in its turn will contribute to the harmony of being and man's cosmic evolution. Thank you.